Yeah, no, no, no. Okay. Do a good face. Here. Good face. Well, got a bad face? Yeah. Always <laughs> do. <laughs> Yeah, well, there the sunshine too, eh? <laughs> yeah, my gra my uh, grandchildren will love this too. I think first time she goes. So, uh, from an evolutionary standpoint, what what, what are these? What, what what's their species or what elephants? Are they? Elephants. Wow. Yeah, and they'll always come out of here before low tide comes in. Oh because yeah. Because they're afraid that they'll get caught in here. Oh. Yeah. And, and what time would that be? Uh, I don't know. What time. Yeah. Oh, there's one right here. I didn't even see him. Yeah, you don't see them until they move. Yeah. Hey, guys. Robin Jan Can Van here, and we are experiencing something incredible. We are at. Where are we at, Rob? Crystal Spring. Three Sisters. Yeah, Three Sisters. Springs in Crystal River, Florida. This is where 
the manatees all come. It is the manatee capital of Florida or the world or somewhere. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out and let you know. Anyways, check this out, guys. Rob's also filming, as you can tell, taking my thunder. <laughs> just beautiful, isn't it, Rob? Mm, yeah, it's gorgeous. They're so cool. We were just talking to someone who said that the, uh, as a species, it's related to the elephant. Yep. No trunk. So, <laughs> yeah, but they have about as much grace as an elephant, too. They just kind of wander around and float. And, yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool. And the springs, they come in here because when the water in the Gulf is really cold and uh, it's pretty cool today. So they may, they're mainly in these areas more in the winter coming into these springs because they keep around 72 to 74 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. So they like the warm. It's only natural predator is man. Mm -hmm. So that's a shame, but. So this is low tide and we're at, which spring is this one? This is an Idiot's Delight. Idiot's Delight. Hmm, perfect for us. So here's Idiot's Delight, and you can actually see the spring. It's low tide. You can see the spring coming up through. See the bubbles there? And look at all the manatees enjoying the spa. Come closer, dance for me. Easy, tiger, easy, let your hair. So let me see all your million faces and all your million mistakes. You don't need to hide. Come closer so that we can be together. Actually, it's funny. We're here talking about this. this is yeah, what when they uh, when the manatees come up for air, they almost sound like an elephant. They it's do. Like they do have that snorting, uh, you know, yeah. sound or almost like a bellows as they're taking more oxygen. So, so we've walked out to Magnolia Springs. It's a uh, just about a half a mile loop around from where the Three Sisters Spring is and Idiot Springs, and we're just. Uh, Little, oh, look at the little eels or something in the water. What are those? Those are needlefish. Oh, they're tiny ones. Yeah. Look at all the little oh, needlefish oh. in the water. <laughs> I thought it was just grass at first. I saw it laying on top. All the little needlefish. So we're just walking along a loop trail. We'll show you a little a picture of the trail to show where we walked around and uh, beautiful homes around here. It'd be nice to have one of these if you won the lottery. Right, Rob? Yeah. I wonder what they do here because you see the boats. Mm -hmm. How they come in and out of here because of oh, all the manatee. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what uh, they... Maybe the motors and that, they have to do it a certain way, a certain... I don't know. Maybe they yeah. have to have it a certain level or and not go through at a certain, at too much of a speed. Because I think man, like you say, man is their biggest predator. And it, I think a lot of that is, is boats and motors that hurt them. That little needlefish just jumped out of the water. I didn't know they did that. You yeah, when we go back, person. I'm going to have to ask somebody what the uh, policy is here for... Uh... Oh, there's a manatee right there. Look at that, guys. Oh, yeah, there he is. Right there. Oh, just dropped down. Oh, there's more coming through. There's so many here. Beautiful. Beautiful. We love it here. We just absolutely love it here. I see the water rippling there. Oh, that must be from the manatee. Ooh. He's got a sinus infection, that guy. <laughs> They really do snort. They do. <laughs> I guess no different than if you get water up your nose. Yeah. They sound like you after a couple of margaritas and you start to laugh. <laughs> you start snorting and... Sounds about right. So Rob. So Rob. How have you enjoyed your time here? It's pretty cool. We it's absolutely cool. love this area, don't yeah. we? Yeah, this is something that uh, 
you know, we would have never, in our Canadian environment, ever been exposed to it. And it's really something to see, and uh, uh, especially how people have come into this area and where these animals have been coming for since dawn of time, I guess. And uh, maybe yeah, and we don't know here. about that. We don't know. Oh, how, we'll have to look no. at the history of yeah, when we, they've been we'll, coming we'll here. We'll look, but uh, we'll put some um, little facts. The, the, up. This is their environment, not ours. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it, it's incredible uh, to see how they kind of kind of coexist. I'm sure we've had an impact, but uh, oh, I'm sure we have. Yeah, absolutely. But and, I think uh, maybe in a positive side with these springs being carefully monitored and yeah, they're they're very. Uh, they seem to be. Uh, very attentive to uh, the environment that uh, is here, so the people who are here, so it's encouraging. They're trying. Yeah, it's nice. Listen to them. I know. It's kind of peaceful to listen to them, actually. <laughs> Almost sounds like hissing. Yeah. Sometimes. And he said that um, they come up every 20 minutes when they're in these springs, roughly. And if they're in the Gulf, uh, they have to surface uh, about every four or five minutes yeah, uh, for air. Swimming with the act no different than our activity. Oh, yeah. look at that movement over there. Oh, no yeah. different than our activity. I guess if we're out moving more, walking more, we have to breathe a bit more yeah. often. They're kind of the same way. So. But they just kind of float their life like jellyfish <laughs> they're like <laughs> rocks kind of, yeah, yeah yeah the color they just blend right in unless you know in the springs with the uh, with the blue water you, they stand out like crazy but uh yeah they, they just if you didn't know you think it was just a, a stump in the water uh, just floating there but yeah it's pretty cool i uh it is. i'm impressed it's nice yeah all right shall we move on let's keep going with our walk Sounds like you snoring. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask that. Get that guy a CPAP. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna go back this way. Oh, we're gonna walk over there. Wait, we can go this way back through here. This is a little walk. Here's where we are. We have done the Three Sisters Springs, and now we're doing a little walk around, maybe go have a snack by the pavilion and Lake Crystal. Nice little spot in here. We absolutely love it. And here we go. I noticed when we were on the other side, uh, all the residences that have houses, or oh, that have boats, What's the policy like uh, when the manatees are in the water like this? Do they? It's all idle speed. All, all idle. All of Kings Bay is idle. Yeah, and they have they have time to. Oh yeah, the manatees hear the boat coming. You'll see them. I've been in the water, and you'll just, see them kind of get off just, to the oh, side, yeah. Oh, yeah. or they'll That's go good. down. Yeah. yeah. You know, sometimes they get hit. The big ones, like this one here, for instance, you can see the little marks on yeah. it. Yeah. Apparently, he didn't get deep enough, or. There is one area out here about a mile stretch where they can open their boats up and yeah, that almost looks like a yeah. propeller, eh? Yeah, it's yeah. hitting yeah. them. Every so w yeah. what's the uh, the fish that's uh, cleaning them? Uh, that's that's the the. Um, okay, here we go. Come on, <laughs> mullets. Mullets. Those are mullets. Mullets. Okay. Mullets will actually they're fun. Sooner or later, I'm gonna get one to jump in a boat. You'll see them. They'll go jump. Oh, is that right? Come right out of oh, the water, okay. sometimes a foot out of the water. Oh, yeah. But no, these manatees are, you know, like I say, the only predator is the motor frogs. Yeah. yeah. That's basically all that's going on. So, why don't alligators go after them? Do they don't go after the young or yeah, anything? Too big. They're too big, even the babies. Young, eh? yeah. yeah, the alligators' mouth can't. And they probably have a tough skin, too, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's kind of a, a leathery. Feel. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and that's why yeah. these sanctuaries are here. You know, so they got a nice, comfortable place, and safe yep. place to refuge. relax. Mm -hmm. yeah, refuge. Because yeah. it's yeah. it's nine miles out there for their food. The is bulk, that right, eh? their, oh, the bulk okay. of their food source is out there quite a ways. Now oh. the females, they can run about to six knots, six miles. They can do, scoot right along in the water. I yeah. can't keep up to them in a kayak when they're moving. Oh, wow. Is that right? Eh? Wow. So look at how big that tail. Yeah, that fin. Yeah, yeah that tail. See, yeah. When you see that tail, 
and they're moving along the canals, you'll yep. see the big swirls. Oh, yeah. And they're scooching right along. They have hair on their bodies. If you see them up close, they have hair like we do on our arms, you know, so they can sense things. Yeah. You know, because if you're in a kayak or a canoe, yeah. they'll come up, you'll see them. They'll come up and they'll touch it and then they'll go off to the side oh. and get a breath yeah. of air and then go back down. What, what kind of weight is, is an average? The average, these, these, the bigger ones are probably 800, 1200 pounds. Oh, wow. You know, they can go over 2000, but Oof. generally, yeah. Generally, 1,200 pounds or so. Yeah. And they eat. They can eat up to 60 pounds of grass a day. So they're okay. feeding machines. Yeah. It's like yeah. A cow. They're like lawnmowers. <laughs> sure. When do they usually calve? That's yeah, it's whenever. Yeah. Whenever. Said that. The other months guy said that. After. Oh yeah. Thir she'll carry for 13 months once she's in hmm. Uh But yeah, and it's and it's not a special season like uh, yeah. some of the other. Yeah. The other ones calves all the time. Yeah. It's yeah. just whenever she comes in. We was over in a manatee springs or magnolia here just a little while ago, and you'll see swirling going on. And, and well, what's their life ex expectancy? Then generally, generally they live 20 to 30 years generally, but mm. they've been known to live up to 60 years. Okay, well, thanks a lot. <laughs> he had a booger that one. <laughs> Did he? I think things shot out of his nose. <laughs> Maybe a fish. It shot out across. Like something came out of his nose. I want to see the needlefish in there. See them on top? Mm-hmm. Looks like a baby. That see something else shot out of his nose, and then it moved. It's probably it's probably a fish. It is a fish. I saw it move after he jumped out. Yeah. They're going up in their noses. I guess so. Yeah, they are. Look, he's going up in his nose. That's funny. Yeah, but that might be dinner. <laughs> That's funny. Look, things are shooting out. Do a nice face. Do a nice face. And then they got up. Hey, yeah. do a nice face. I'm trying. You know. It makes it better. It makes it more interesting when there's a person in it. So the same with you. If you want me to do a video of you walking into it. You're talking. You can talk. No, I can't. <laughs> Look at me.